Doe's rested for about four hours. You can see it's nice and relaxed, very pliable. I'm going to prepare a calzone. Start the same way by pressing out the edges. Although calzone doesn't have a traditional crust, it's essentially like a crust that's in a half moon. So all I'm doing right now is I'm gently pressing and I'm spreading my fingers out to turn and, and open this up. You can see how quickly the shape of the uh, pizza or the calzone uh, starts to take shape. Crust is gonna be nice and thick. Want to make sure that we get everything inside. Now, a regular pizza, uh, you want you want to be able to see through the crust or see through the dough. But with a calzone, we're going to stretch it. We're going to stretch it pretty efficiently. Put a lot of product inside it. So we've got. Uh, so we want to make sure that uh, we have a little bit thicker bottom, um, and that's pretty good. That's you know, 10, 12 inches is perfect. And now is the time where you can personalize it. So you can just take and kind of put your favorite ingredients. Really important to keep the ingredients away from the edges because we're going to need those edges to, you know, be dry um, so that when we fold them over, they'll stick together really nicely. So we got a, some raw tomato on the base. Be generous with the mozzarella. You shredded buffalo mozzarella whatever you like. I've got these beautiful cherry tomatoes. Now build it, Don't even though we're going to fold it in half, don't build half. Lay it out evenly across the surface area. We're going to put some beautiful mushrooms. These are baby portobellas. Thinly sliced, not too thick so that they'll, they'll cook. Got some spinach. Now the spinach you can be somewhat generous with. Just remember that there's a lot of liquid, so the spinach, you want to, you know, that, that's enough, just a light coating. Normally, if you were going to reduce it, you'd have a bunch more, um, but you don't want too much liquid in there. We're going to season this a little bit with some sea salt, make sure it's well seasoned. And then it's just a simple matter of taking and turning that over. And then as you work the edges, you're just going to turn and press, and turn and press and just create a nice little envelope, nice little package, nice little Italian package of flavor. And just turn that in, make sure that it's nice and tight, especially at the ends. Sure, we're about 650 degrees. You're gonna take the pizza peel, gently slide that underneath with one. It's a little sticky. You can make a motion that looks more like this. Make sure the degree here, don't approach it at 45 or 30, get it almost flush, just up five to 10 degrees. And if you're having some trouble, you can make a stroke that looks more like this, one, two, three. And then get that up off the uh, surface. Now I'm gonna get this deep inside. You can see my fire rolling there. Let me get this deep inside and I'll turn it in a little bit. Something I like to do Got a nice little bit of flame going there. I'm just gonna take one more stick, move that fire over and set one on top. That way those flame channels are gonna direct that heat, not only on top, but it'll also have radiant heat coming from those beautiful ceramic stones. Halfway through the cooking process, you can see I'm starting to get a nice golden edge on this. And you can see it needs to be turned, so I'm just gonna bring it to the front, spin it around, and then use this simple tool to get it right back in the heat of the oven. Look at that beautiful calzone. Nice crust. Ooh. Perfection.